1. The easiest progress ring you've ever made in your life. Maybe it's just me, but I had no idea about the art tool until I randomly dragged it one day and had my mind blown. It makes for some really simple and beautiful progress rings. 2. Use the scale tool to avoid distortion. Keep your designs pixel perfect with the scale tool. Simply select what you want to scale, then pressing K on the keyboard, drag, and voila! I was always reluctant to scale designs in the past because something always broke, and I'd have to make adjustments. With the help of the scale tool, those worries are no more. Everything scales perfectly and maintains its proportions with no rework needed. 3. Drag objects outside of a frame while keeping them inside it. Hold spacebar while dragging an object outside of a frame for it to remain inside the container. You can also turn off clip contents for the frame that contains the object, so you can still see it when it's outside of the container, you can also press CMD, Ctrl plus white to reveal the outlines. 4. Tidy up, swap position, and organize grid. Tidy up your designs by clicking the grid icon, in the corner after selecting multiple objects in an array. This makes all spacing between objects equal, and you can then drag objects to rearrange them and adjust their spacing. 5. Duplicate the last action. CMD plus D to duplicate your previous action. CMD plus D will also duplicate objects, frames, and anything else. 6. Preview and color with the eyedropper. When using the eyedropper tool, Hold down instead of tapping to preview different colors. 7. Unlock all objects. CMD Plus has a ton of useful quick actions that will save you tons of time in your workflow. If you're not using it, I highly recommend seeing what's available in the menu. An action I use a lot is quickly unlocking all my objects and changing fonts. 8. Easily drop images inside placeholder shapes. CMD plus Shift plus K to replace the fill of shapes or frames with a bunch of images. 9. More tricks with spacebar. Drag a selection area and then hold space to increase the selection size of your pointer. If you're drawing a shape, you can also hold space to move the object while drawing it. And if that's not enough, you can also hold spacebar to override Figma from automatically nesting objects inside frames or auto layouts. Spacebar is very handy. 10. Content Reel plus Unsplash. Content Reel and Unsplash have been two indispensable plugins to save time and avoid John Doe, as the name I use for every user. With Content Reel, you can plug avatars, lore meep zoom, names, addresses, and so much more into your design with one click. Unsplash is a library of high-quality graphics free to use. 